a lot of processing that we perform with Unix tools can be broken down into a flow. The first part of this flow involves fetching the data from databases or from the internet or from the local file system. Then comes generating data from synthetic sources. After that, we select some data based on fields or patterns. Then comes processing the data, which involves sorting and combining data in various ways. The next step is summarizing the data by counting or selecting a relevant subset. Finally, comes reporting the results we obtained. As a concrete example, let us see how we can find the days of the week when programmers are most productive. The productivity measure we'll use is when they commit the most changes in a Git version control repository. Here, we'll briefly demonstrate the steps we'll be discussing in the next units of the course. You shouldn't expect to fully understand the details of each step. Let's start by creating a new clone of a repository. In this case, I choose the Unix history repository, which contains more than 40 years of Unix history. The cloning requires some time to finish because the repository is more than a gigabyte of size, but eventually it ends. Now, let's go into the repository and run some commands to find the number of commits that have been made on each day of the week. The commands I run are git log, cut, sort, unique, and another sort, which provide me with a number of commits per day. Next, we'll see what each command does in more detail. The first step, the fetching, involves getting the date and time of each commit from its timestamp. In the previous example, the first command I used was git log. I run git log to get a list of all commits that have been recorded in the repository for an old release of FreeBSD Unix, specifying as an additional argument that the format I want to get from git log is the date of the author's commit. Executing this command and piping it to head, we get for each commit the date it was made in the form Thursday 16th January 2014 and so on. As you can see, the day of the week that we are interested in is included in the first field, so this is the field we will isolate with the next command. The second step of the selection involves isolating the day of each timestamp. In order to isolate the day of the week, I first repeat git log and then pass the output to the cut command, specifying the comma as the field separator with the minus D option and selecting the first field with the F1 option. As you remember, this is the field with the day of the week a commit was made. Again, redirecting the output to head, I get the days of the week, Thursday, Wednesday, Tuesday, Monday, and so on. The third step, the processing one, brings together all the days so that we can then easily count them. To bring all days together, once again I run git log and cut, and this time I pass the output of cut to sort in order to sort all days alphabetically. In our case, the output starts with all of the Fridays brought together. The other days follow much, much later on. The fourth step summarizes the data by counting the number of same days in the sorted list we generated. For the next summarization step, I need to find out how many times each day of the week has occurred in my output. To do that, I pass the output of the sort command to unique-c, which counts the number of occurrences of consecutive lines. In this way, because the days of the week are sorted, we get a total of about 57,000 occurrences of Friday, 63,000 Mondays, and so on. Finally, the fifth step sorts this list according to the number of commits on each day, thus reporting the results that we set out to obtain. In order to sort the output by the number of commits per day, I pass again the output of unique-c, 
which calculated the commits per day, to the sort minus rn command. The minus rn argument specifies that the output is sorted in reverse numerical order. According to the result, most commits occurred on Monday, next on Thursday, then on Tuesday, Wednesday, and so on. This concludes our Foundations unit on the data processing flow. Stay with us.